most people assume college preparation starts junior year in high school. Well, or maybe freshman year in half high school at the very earliest. Well, let me share you a secret. Those who want to go to the Ivy League often start prepping their kids as early as elementary or middle school. Now, having graduated from Columbia myself and as an undergrad and Oxford for my master's and doctorate, I've also lectured at leading universities and mentored numerous students applying to the Ivy League. So today I wanted to share with you top four tips on how to start preparing your young kids and how to really boost their chances for future Ivy League admissions. But why start early again? Well, the early years are really the critical developmental years, both personally and academically for a lot of kids. These are the key years of your parenting. This is when you have the greatest impact on your kids' values, their mindset, and you can really maximize opportunities for them down the line and also not leave it to chance. So essentially you're not missing the boat later on. But so let's see what it takes and also what you can do to start preparing early. Now, the number one thing top colleges are looking for like Ivy Leagues is academic accomplishment. So, you know, that's pretty obvious, but kids start distinguishing themselves in advanced math tracks or are getting into the honors English classes in middle school. So essentially based on what track you were in middle school, oftentimes then the kids will get either placed in advanced placement or honors classes or the regular track classes in high school. So the early years are really to make sure your kiddo gets on that right track. Now, the second thing Ivy League colleges are looking for is intellectual curiosity. Now, this is not just getting good grades, uh, having a high GPA. They really want to see that hunger to learn. And again, the early years are the best time when you can start developing your child's love of learning, their curiosity, and their intellectual passions. Now, number three thing, what top colleges are looking for is the capstone achievement. Okay, now you may say, well, what is that? And, you know, look, it may be called different ways, but essentially what it comes down to, there I would say are about four parts to this capstone achievement. First, they're looking for significant achievement. Now, when I say significant, I mean, you know, state, national, and even international level type of distinction. They're also looking for a commitment to this activity. So a minimum of four years commitment in high school. And they're also looking for growth of this achievement over those four years and a significant contribution, a significant contribution the child makes um, either through their community, their school, the field and so on. But okay, so that's in high school. But what does that mean in those early years? Well, this is really the time to let your child explore different interests and talents and also the time to start building a strong foundation for that future capstone, right? I mean, if you want your child to have a major achievement in a particular area, you have to start building that baseline, that foundation early on. And for parents, this is also a time to start learning how to let your child lead when it comes to their interests, their passions, um, and uh, essentially that transition from you kind of leading the kids on their activities, their passions, and the kids taking charge should happen by the time they're in high school. So the fourth thing colleges, top colleges are looking for is personal skills or character. Now, colleges are actually assigning a score in the application process on a student's personal skills and character. And the younger years, are really this very best time to develop your child's values, mindset, and positive identity. Now, when it comes to identity, keep in mind that nearly half the applicants end up writing one of their college essays on their identity. So as you're raising your child in those, again, early years, consider your family values, culture, history, and take steps to impart that on your kids so they have a strong sense of their identity. So here are the top four tips for preparing your young child for the Ivy League college. Thank you for watching Education Secrets and for other Ivy League prep challenge tools, check out www.educationsecrets.co. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos.